Hey, Joe, what are you doing here on a weekday? You didn't call for an appointment, man. It's gonna be a while. Ah, I was afraid of this. Go ahead and sit down. Oh, oh, my lord. You gotta wait, son. This is an emergency. What? That ain't cool, Dad. You could always let Harold cut your hair. His chair's wide open. Nah, I, I, I can wait. Joe, get your butt in this chair now. Should I even ask you how this happened? The cat did it. Stop sounding insane. I mean, um, I was um, distracted getting ready to play with Dorothea Williams tonight. Dorothea Williams? That's big time, Joe. Congratulations. Joe ain't getting no gig, Dez. You know he missed a close but no cigar. Ah, <sighs> this guy. Joe, ignore him. Now let's fix you up. You keeping that cat on your lap? Is it okay that I do that? Suit yourself. You're the boss. I am? When you're in this chair, yeah, you are. So, can I have one of those? Uh... Sure, Joe. Oh, cool. Mm. I like being in the chair. Hey, get your head in the game. Ha! Little chainsaw. You need to settle down. If you keep this... <laughs> Look, I can deal with some freaky stuff, but if this cat don't chill, we're gonna have to put it outside. Well, what's it gonna be, kitty? Meow. Sometimes change is good. You have been rocking that same style for a while. Well, Des, for hundreds of years, I've had no style at all. You can say that again. <laughs> but then my life changed. Oh, yeah? What happened? I was existing as a theoretical construct in a hypothetical way station between life and death. I heard that. And by the time I got to mentor number 266, I was seriously asking, like, what is all the fuss about? Like, is all this living really worth dying for? Mm. You know what I mean? I never knew you had such an interest in education, Joe. I just thought you went to music school. And another thing, they say you're born to do something, but how do you figure out what that thing is? I mean, what if you pick up the wrong thing or somebody else's thing, you know, then you're stuck. Yeah. I've been there before. I guess. I'll take one of those. I wouldn't call myself stuck, but I never planned on cutting heads for a living. Wait, but you were born to be a barber, weren't you? I wanted to be a veterinarian. So why didn't you do that? I was planning to when I got out of the Navy. Then my daughter got sick. And <laughs> barber school is a lot cheaper than veterinarian school. Well, that's too bad. You're stuck as a barber, and now you're unhappy. Whoa, whoa, slow your road here, Joe. I'm happy as a clam, my man. Not everyone can be Charles Drew inventing blood transfusions. Or me, playing piano with Dorothea Williams, I know. <laughs> you are not all that. Anyone could play in a band if they wanted to. Don't pay Paul any mind. People like him just bring other people down so they can make themselves feel better. Oh, I get it. He's just criticizing me to cover up the pain of his own failed dreams. <laughs> you cut deep, Joe. I wonder why sitting in this chair makes me want to tell you things, Des. That's the magic of the chair. That's why I love this job. I get to meet interesting folks like you, make them happy, and make them handsome. Wow, am I crazy or do I look younger? I may not have invented blood transfusions, but I am most definitely saving lives. I don't know about this crazy cat guy thing, man, but it is nice to finally talk to you about something other than jazz, yo. Huh, how come we, um, Never talked about your life before. You never asked, but I'm glad you did this time. Looking good, brother. Great show. <laughs> I grabbed a couple road lollies. <laughs>